Hey, I wanted to show a little video here for the uh, HVAC talk uh, forum. Uh, this is my H10. I haven't sold it yet, but it's on my to-do list to sell it. I wanted to show a couple things on the sensitivity, how it changes. If you read the instructions, this is a several year old leak bottle. It's leaking through the membrane that's underneath the hole there. You set this leak detector up, you get you want green to show. Here, I'll put it on auto mode. Basically, when you're hitting the 20th of an ounce a year reference leak that comes with the leak detector, you want it to do green. See right there? So I have this leak detector set up way you're gonna uh, get the longest sensor life. You'll notice the sensor glow right there. It's just a dull glow. And that's the way to get the longest sensor life. You run the sensor, picks up the reference leak, but it just picks it up really close. But the sensitivity on the R410A is very poor if you set it up like that. And uh, I have my, this balloon is 10 parts per million. Just filling my syringe here, 10 parts per million R410A. Here's a little $20 Chinese leak detector. I'm going to show you the difference in the sensitivity. This is a uh, Corona discharge. You can actually smell ozone. You sniff the sensor. You know, you, you don't get sensors for a $20 leak detector. You just change the leak detector. Being Chinese, you want to get a few of them. Anyway, uh, 10 parts per million R410A. totally misses it. The sensitivity is actually 20 parts per million. 10 parts per million R410A on my $20 Chinese leak detector. You see it easily picks it up. Actually this one picks up down to 5 parts per million. Now if you want to use the H10 for the 410A you have to run that sensor really hot. And when you do that you can get down to about 5 parts per million sensitivity. So basically you have to ignore what the setup is. You run that sensor as hot as possible, but you're only gonna get a few hours of life out of it. And if you get any large hits, you know, your sensor will be destroyed in one hit. But uh, when I called the factory, they recommend, let me turn this off. This one's annoying. They recommended a quarter turn. Should be 90 degrees. Okay, so now I'm running a quarter turn hot on a sensor. Let's do my 10 parts per million. Off of my reference. Actually, I need to do that again. Okay, we're gonna do 10 parts per million, R410A. It barely picks it up at 10. Now, let's do, actually right now we're at seven. Fill in with air. So we're seven parts per million now in my syringe. It barely gets that. So let's do three and a half parts per million. It's almost, you're going to miss that. So here's one part per million. Totally missed that. Now let me test again. Compare side by side. With the Chinese leak detector. So I'm filling up 50 cc, fill the rest with air. So I got a five parts per million R410A blend.
H10 barely picks it up as a really small hit at five parts per million. Chinese $20 leak detector quite easily picks it up. So now I'm going to run this sensor. Well, here's the quarter turn. If you call Baccarat, they'll tell you to run it like this for R410A. And uh, you can see it's got a pretty decent glow, but it's not a white hot yet. Let's crank it all the way up. They also say to run it on manual. Actually, you know what? I'll put it back to manual. So we're still a quarter turn hot. We're on manual. Let's go back to our five parts per million and set this one up. Back to our five parts per million. So run on manual mode on the H10 rather than auto mode. Didn't really make that much of a difference. It's picking up very small hit at five parts per million. Now let's run the sensor all the way. Let's run it smoking hot. So I'm about a uh, eighth of a turn from the max. Let's see how we do there. I know I only get five parts per million out of the Chinese one. I'm not even gonna test it lower than that. So we'll start out at five parts per million. Get a pretty decent hit on that. Let's go down to two and a half parts per million. Pretty decent. One part per million. Okay, let's go five hundred per billion. Barely getting it. Slow that tick down. We're running that sensor quite hot now. So I'm basically an eighth turn from the max on a pretty new sensor. So let's start out with one part per million. Barely getting it. Let's do 500 parts per billion. Barely getting that. Two hundred parts per billion.
And that's going to be, you're going to be missing that for probably around 300 parts per billion.